Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to um, show you another journal that I made. This journal here, I uh, used a kit. It's called Botanical Blendables. And it's from Digital Expressions CA. And um, when I saw the kit, I really loved it because, you know, it's like flowery, but it's very like kind of vintagey looking. Um, so you'll see when we get in there. So what I did for the cover, I actually have this fabric, which I thought went perfectly with um, the, the kit. So it's covered in fabric. And then for the front, I did a little bit of layering. I have some vintage music paper. And then this is a page from the kit, which I shrunk down um, to fit the cover. And I just, I absolutely love it. And then, of course, the flowers go with the flowers in the background. So, let's just get in. So, in the front cover here, or in the inside cover, I left it blank because I didn't want to take away from this first page. So, this is the first image I have uh, from the kit, and I just love it. It's the flowers with a hummingbird, and then if you can see in the background right here, it's very, it's like a faded script which it's just really cool looking. And then here, let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, good, I am. So I used some of the extra material from the cover and um, I turned it into a pocket. And in there, I have a vintage keyboard punch card. I, sh I cut it down a little bit just so it will fit. And then here are two um, elements from the kit. Now, um, I did do... A lot of pages I shrunk them down to make journaling cards and I believe this is one of the pages I shrunk down but this is one from the kit or maybe they both are I'm not sure but all the elements I'm pretty sure I used from just the kit we'll see when we go through <laughs> so here I did um, another little like a little cluster and then um, underneath I have some I think it was kind of like a ribbon or a trim I'm not really sure and then I put this, of course, because of the flowers, and it went really well with the kit. And then look at those on the back. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I think there might be. It's kind of glossy on the pages. And then here I have a little teeny tiny flip, so you can write in there. And then in here, I have two little um, journaling cards. Plenty of room to journal. And then here we have a little flip up and flip down. I decorated it with some more like cut off scraps. Here's a coffee dyed uh, doily. And then in the back we have some and a vintage um, bin stock card. And here is another gorgeous page from the kit. Love that. See, it's very botanical, but it's very vintagey looking at the same time. So here's some more of this paper, and I think I got all of this paper, this line paper, from um, that's coffee dyed, and then some are color dyed, uh, from my friend uh, Sherry over at Turquoise Streaming. So thank you so much. And then here, this is actually a glassine bag. Hold on, let me show you. Um, and I just this was. Uh, one of the scraps from the paper pad that I cut down. But see, here's the bag right here. Then I just did a little layering with some cloth and then some muslin underneath and then a little, I know what these are. These are little cigarette cards that, uh, well, like a digital cig cigarette card. Um, that's what those, the small ones are. And we have some little lace on the bottom. So that goes in there. And then behind here is one of the pages that I shrunk down and another journaling card. Another page from the kit, so beautiful. And then a little tiny pocket here with some little bits and pieces inside. And there's another flip there. And then just a little layering. And then these two, oopsies, you can use as journaling cards. And we have that. There's another flip there. And here's like two half pages. And then on the bottom of here, we have that inside. 
So it's almost like a full page, but they're just broken in half. <laughs> and then look at this one. Oh, that one's just so awesome. And I don't know if you can see this on camera. And actually, I'm looking, and I think you can. See right here? It was um, a bee. It's a little bee in the background. There's some of the script and then the botanicals right there. And here is the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. The World Federation of Rose Societies. Rose Classes. Um, when I was using it, I wanted to keep this because it's kind of like, you can read it. It's like really kind of interesting. So I left that. Some half pages here. Um, here is, this is a uh, vintage Rolodex card that I just did some layering on. Here's a butterfly, some of uh, the material from the cover, and then uh, some crocheted lace. I have those two in there. And then look at this vibrant paper. And I like this because it sort of reminds me of like, you know, like the color from flowers. So that one's really neat. She t actually, um, no. I was going to say, I thought I she told me what she dyed it with. And maybe she did. Because um, it wasn't food coloring. It might have been the, the Rit dye. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, here's, this is the one that I used for the cover. See? Beautiful, beautiful. I'm sorry. I was distracted. I heard a screech and <laughs> just want to make sure it was okay. Um, and here's the middle of the signature. And so this I thought would be a really good idea if you did like some huge journaling something or other. Because this, I don't think it shows on camera, but this is actually lined. So you can, um, you can, it's easier to write. I know sometimes with line paper, um, but it's really faded line paper. So it will keep your writing straight, but it also look like you have really neat writing. <laughs> so I thought that was just a good place to do some real good journaling in the, in the middle of the signature. Love that too. Here's the beautiful paper once again. Little half sheet. We have those in there. Another um, vintage Rolodex card with, again, same type of layering. A score pad. And here's more about the flowers. Actually, it was a book of roses, so it's all about roses. Um, oh, here's something, another little list here. This is the American Rose Society Modern Roses number nine. So I guess all the different types of roses. And then look at this page. I love it. Love it. I love the stamped script in the background. Um, there are some like um, stamps, like actual like mail. See there and there. Faded butterfly. And then this bold one right here. Really, really cool. And then here's another little tiny flip. I love the little flips, actually. I really do. And um, the nice thing about making the little flips, you know when you're cutting down paper and you always have those like kind of like little squares left over? That's what these are. And I said, well, instead of throwing them away, I want to make little tiny flips with them. And the little flips are perfect for the little pages. So I had some little fun. F I had fun with flips. <laughs> so here we have some journaling cards there. And then this flips up and there's a little hidden compartment inside here with some stuff and you could hide other stuff in there too and um i actually got this idea from danny over at uh well junk journals and more and i know her new etsy is now lovebound journals but i believe i'm pretty sure that's where i saw it she did something like this and it flipped and then i just lined the edges with some ribbon here and then there's some eyelid trim <clears throat> I don't know how I had those like that. I don't know. Something like that. And then another little teeny pocket there. And look at the vibrant colors on this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Like gorgeous, gorgeous. I think it was the bold, but not all bold colors that um, attracted me to this kit because it's not an overbearing bold, 
but it's just enough vintage, just enough bold to just really catch my eye. Here's another glassine bag with the um, tag there. And then we have those. And I like these big journaling cards because, you know, like if you say you're a daily journaler, you can really, if you wanted to, you know, you put your date, you write all about your day here. You can either tuck it back inside or say you want to put it out somewhere. You could put it here, put some washi on it, and then use it as a flip. And then, you know, you can see your journaling on the back. So I wanted to make some different um, possibilities with the bigger journaling cards. Because a lot of the times I have always just small journaling cards. But for this one, I made big ones too. Plus also the size of the journal helps. This one is, you know, like the... I think it's five and a half by eight and a half so it's able to have bigger journaling cards sometimes when I do like the traveler's notebook size you know you're limited with the size of the tags that you actually put in the journals so with bigger notebooks um I think going forward I'm going to start putting bigger tags in because it's you're able to so look at this page here look how it made this little it's like it looks like it's running so it has the blue the yellow and then the green it's just really really cool and then that opens up too really neat and then another perfect page there and I love the background it's like a handwritten something or other but it just it just goes with the image which is really cool and then here we have another flip up and flip down and a tuck behind and I have those two things in the tuck and then here we have some more little bits that are tucked into I really like these little pockets and that's actually another thing that I got from Danny she has um, like with a lot of her smaller pieces of fabric maybe that she uses like when she cuts down the cover and you, you know you always have the little smaller pieces left over um it looks like she makes pockets with maybe with that but i did that's what i did so when i cut down my cover i didn't um want to waste the little pieces of fabric so i turned them all into pockets and then you know it worked out really well so you have two more flowers there look at these roses that's right they're not flower well i mean yes they're flowers but they're all different types of roses i believe really really pretty and then here another of the fabric pockets and then some different journaling cards to go right down inside and then here is the back and there's the image for the back so this is available um, in my Etsy if you are interested I will leave the link in the description box below and, um, oh gosh, I still have so many videos I need to make of all the journals that I listed in my shop. Um, so over the next, I don't know, hopefully few days, week, two weeks, I will get everything uploaded. Um, but definitely head over to my Etsy because I do have them all listed there. They just don't all have video walkthroughs yet. But, you know, I do take um, the maximum amount of pictures that you're able to take for a listing, which is 10. So it gives you a good idea of... Um, the overall journal um, but you know again if you want to wait I will be adding in all the videos of the walkthroughs of the journals so as always thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video bye